Hello there and welcome to this whistle stop tour of Education City. My name's Hayley and I'm the education consultant here at Education City. Was a teacher for a while beforehand. Um, and what I'm going to show you today is some of the key areas of Education City, what they can do to support you in supporting your students. So just starting off with um, making sure your users are set up. That's one of the most important things. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking it might look slightly different to my view, you may be on the classic view, which looks like this. You can click onto the ribbon just there to go to the new view. It has got some new features such as the work overview function just there, as well as the quick links, including the online safety and teacher resource pack just there. So new view just there on the ribbon. So users, setting up your users, really, really important. It means that any work um, that is completed by students that includes activities or assessments are marked for you. Plus it means that you can track your students' attainment. And that is via this little icon just here that looks like a little teacher and a pupil. Now, setting up your students, really easy to do. You can either add students individually via class, um, have each class teacher do that, or you can upload um, a CSV file from your schools and management system. Just make sure if you do that though, it is in the order as specified here. You can do download a sample spreadsheet, which will have it in that order for you. Um, but that's all you need to do. As soon as it's downloaded, follow the steps above, um, on step four, press finish, and that's it done. It really is that simple. Anything I tell you about today, though, please don't worry if you miss it or you don't quite understand. You can use our help center at the side just here, um, which will have either PDF user guides or videos that you can watch on YouTube along with any previous webinars that might help you in certain areas. I know there's a really um, specific one on how to set up Education City, so that will guide you through. Teachers and administrators, the easiest way to add um, these is click to invite new teachers and you can enter the email address and send it. Once a teacher receives that email address, they can click onto it into their details and create their account. Really is that simple. And if you want to invite more than one teacher, just click to invite multiple, paste all their email addresses and submit. There you go. Now, classes is something that you will um, discuss amongst your school. Obviously, if you want students in their specific classes or in their year groups, you're gonna have to do that via the students area. But the groups function on the right hand side here is something that each teacher has access to um, means you can create groups in your class for differentiation purposes. You can have differentiation for every subject area if you wish to every unit. Um, but you can also create groups across the school, such as looking at your um, SND students, um, your um, free school meal students maybe, or your pupil premium or pupil equity students there as well. Or you can obviously keep track of those students who may be working from home through the groups. And it really is simple. Add group, pop in the name just there, pop in any notes that you might see. Parents and um, students will not see those notes. They are for teacher purposes only. And then you can search for students individually or via year group just there um, and simply click in the box next to their name to add them into the group. It is the same process to remove a student as well um, so you can sort of update your groups as you're going along there also. Now obviously once you've got your students set up you can then begin assigning different areas of work starting off with our assessments. Now we have assessments um, for students um, you can assign to a class or a group um, and we have assessments for years one to six or P1 to P6. Um, you'll find those here and we have subject assessments for English, maths and science and these are a mixture of formative, summative and unit assessments as well. All assessments are marked for you. 
So you're not going to worry about doing any of that. The student can log in and um, complete an assessment and it's marked for you. And don't worry if a student maybe can't do the whole thing in one sitting. There is a bookmarking feature which enables them to pop in a save at a particular point and then come back and complete the assessment within the allotted time frame. You can preview assessments as well if you want to pop them onto the interactive whiteboard to work through with your students, you can do that. And if you want to add um, a particular assessment for some students, simply click into the box, highlighting it in this blue colour. Then you can schedule a date and the title. Now, the benefit is as well, if I'm a year four teacher and I want my students to do a year three unit assessment just to see where the gaps lie from the previous year, so my students will not see that it is a year three assessment. All they will see is this title just here. And a quick tip from me, always worthwhile popping the date in that the students complete the assessment or that you've set it for, because then if you repeat the assessment more than once, you can look at comparative data. So that's always worthwhile. And what that's done essentially is created a My City folder. And that is all done for you. We press finish just there, and I'll show you what that looks like in our My City area. You'll see we've got our classwork and our homework just here. And when we're creating a folder of work, new classwork, new homework just there, you can flip between the tabs just there. And it's really simple. Simply click for new classwork, type in the name of the folder, fractions as an example, click to create, and then you can start, start to add different tool types into that folder. Now we have an, um, a range of different tool types for Education City. Um, each of them have a different purpose um, for what they are used for essentially. So starting off with um, a Think It, which looks like this, it's got a little um, thought bubble. And if we want to add tools in, we simply click onto that plus just there. We can search for that keyword and then we can search via our level our subject area and our tool type. So as I mentioned, think it have a little thought bubble, really um, great for whole class discussion or debate work and um, for group discussion. And the maths ones are particularly good for mastery um, approach because they do require reasoning justification. For the younger year groups, it might give you a fun fact or a piece of key vocabulary. And the science ones, have a look at them if you're going to be doing an investigation or um, piece of inquiry because they are brilliant. Wherever you see one of these lovely orange plus signs, you can add tools into a folder by simply clicking on that orange plus. And if there's a black X, we can even remove things from a folder just there as well. These info buttons will link us back to um, the objectives. So everything on Education City is applicable to the objectives of the curriculum that you follow. So for England, it's the National Curriculum 2014. For Scotland, it's the Curriculum for Excellence as an example just there. We also have um, learn screens, which are great for independent instruction. And you'll find that a lot of these come in series. So you can see adding fractions, subtraction, subtraction, sorry, and add and subtract. So you've got those series of learn screens. You'll also find with a lot of our learn screens, there are activities linked to them. So you can see here, learn screen and activity both call the same name with the same image and these are linked together and it will tell you that they are linked as well to save you from having to hunt around everywhere that's all done for you another thing about our activities they are marked for you as long as your students are logging in and all activities come with an activity sheet and these will have different questions on as well so there's nothing to stop you from using both uh, for sort of classwork and homework as an example, or even for something like carousel or rotated learning. We've also got some topic tools, as you can see just here, 
Um, these are teacher-led tools and the sort of thing you could pop onto the whiteboard and work through with your students as an example, or again, with a group of pupils. And they're easily identifiable by the little teacher pointing to the whiteboard just there. We've also got a number of videos. Um, in maths, you'll find that they are, are multiplication table videos that come with three activities each, including a multiplication tables checker um, as a topic tool there as well. And we've also got games. We have our whack-a-mole games, which identifies multiples, factors, prime um, numbers, odd and even numbers, um, if you wish to. And we have our play live game, which encourages instant recall as well as sort of making sure you're accurate there as well. So all of these tools have these different little icons and they are relevant throughout Education City. Just to show you very quickly what I mean by that, if I head into the subjects area, which is identifiable by this little pencil and ruler, you'll see here we've got our year groups and each of those will have the different tool types relevant to those year groups but they are um, across the whole of Education City core subjects, as you can see there. Now, once you've got that My City, you can obviously save it for yourself. Um, here it is just here. You can also sequence it, which locks it in that particular order. So it's structured for the students um, learning from it. And then all you need to do is simply work your way through the blue tabs, allocating to students, whether that be a class, a group or an individual, making sure within preferences that it is published if you are sharing with students. And there's things there like countdown timers, minimum pass rates, etc. cetera. Um, I'll leave you to explore those. You know your students, you know what will work best. And then you can start tracking where your students are. Heading back to our homepage, I'm just going to save this. There we go. Um, I mentioned earlier about those activities and assessments being marked for you, and you'll find all of that data within our success tracker, as you can see just here by this little um, graph icon. There we go. And you'll be able to track for a term, a half term, an academic year, a key stage, whatever you wish to track for. And again, you can track for a class or a group, and in this case, an individual student as well. Now, the benefit of this means that you can have a look for all of your students. We can order by surname just there. We can have a look at any assessments that were done from the first time they logged into Education City until leaving the school, essentially. Um, we can go into any um, assessment just there and have a look at the questions and the answers that students got. We can print them off a certificate and we can even have a look at this revision journal, which is something the system creates for formative assessments based upon the questions that they've gotten incorrect. And this will be filled with prescribed content um, each based upon those incorrect answers. Now, all of this data can be exported to an Excel spreadsheet as well. Um, so obviously you can um, apply that into whichever uh, tracking system that you use within your school. And as I mentioned, um, we can also have a look for a, a group or an individual. Um, great tool for parents meetings just there. And we can edit the columns as well. So we can even have a look at what curriculum objectives have been met, any questions that they had and the ones that were attempted. And we can maybe take some out that weren't, um, aren't relevant maybe. So you can see now this particular student who is made up by the way, all students on this site are completely made up on my fake school. Um, and you can see this particular objective here. He had 15 questions. He answered 15, but he only scored 80%. So we can have a bit of a look at the answers that he gave. There we go. If you're feeling generous, maybe print off a certificate there as well. 
there's a lot of information that I've just given you. Best thing to do with Education City is explore. Take some time and just explore what it is that you can do. Don't forget to have a look at our curriculum map, which will filter down the tools that we have via the objective that they meet. Again, all match to the curriculum that you follow. And if you need us for anything at all, top right hand corner, there's a little question mark. You'll find there our phone number and email address. Anything that you need, any questions that you have, or even any feedback that you might have for us, please do get in touch. And don't forget, you're also entitled to some free training uh, from us. And we also include um, CPD accredited training for Education City now too. I hope to see you soon, but until then, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.